All right, guys. Seattle store manager taking matters into his own hands with the constant crime. Let's check it out. Well, there's been a lot of talk from our elected leaders about finding new. Dude, no, man, don't no, be doing that, guys. I, when I was homeless, I never like vandalized a business like this, bro. Ever. I was homeless for like you know, almost a year. I never went this wild, bro. He's like, he just wants to get in like custody because you know, I don't know. He just doesn't like being on the outside i guess but once once you're on the inside if you don't like being on the outside it's it's not a it's not something you're you're gonna enjoy for the most part new ways to curb crime and put repeat offenders in jail but as that debate plays Snap, out bro. the seattle store manager has had to resort to increasingly drastic measures to keep his business and customers look at that man window glass broken everywhere he's got wood over the door so somebody broke that like in fact, he tells Fox 13's Matt Markovich that one man in particular has been terrorizing his store for years, and he's got the video to... For years, bro? For years? That's terrible, man. It's such a business loss, bro. Like, how do they not get, catch this guy? Prove it. Samir Shafi has had it. Look at this. One, two, three, four. Over three wooden thingies over his, uh, like... Dang, bro, and, like, if you have the wooden, uh, boards up, it's a higher chance you can get your stuff stolen as well, man. At risk to his personal safety, he wanted to share with us what's been happening here at his store on Lake City Way. So, right now, I'm telling him, like, he's not allowed in here. This guy knows Samir Shafi's store all too well. Yeah, he knows that my door... Dang, bro, that's always a scary thing when you gotta, like, kind of kick out an unruly guest at your store like uh yeah for sure for sure as auto lock from behind the counter the guy tries to prop open the door to prevent samir dressed in orange from locking him inside until police arrive the two tussle as the guy tries to steal something samir runs behind the counter to grab his bear spray and then there's an exchange of sprays. I'm not the one who sprays first he's the one who sprays me what he has in his hand he chases him out to the gas pump scare Bro, guys, what? They both had spray. I've never seen a spray battle like that. Usually, only one had spray. Guys, what kind of spray did the other guy have? And he was just spraying it like super near his face, bro. I'm sure that hurt him a little, but he just got a full-on face of a full-on, you know, bunch of spray. I'm sure he was like rubbing his eyes for a while after that right guys and most of the time the customers see, see something like it happening they just leave and they go like that woman right there yeah she just got up and left, left. Right? yeah that's a dude i would be scared of that as well bro i'd be like snap bro maybe i should maybe this is the wrong part of town brother uh, i'd be out of there oh, loss of business too the guy comes back two hours later wielding a half gallon of milk samir bear sprays him again but this time the guy starts to throw rocks, breaking one window. Dude, why does he have it out, bro? He could be doing so much other better things with his life, and he's just harassing business owners. Then takes aim at Samir behind the counter, throwing a rock, breaking a window. Had it not been for some cans of Red Bull, the rock would have hit a customer in the head. Dude, that's all bad, bro. I can't believe this. Such unruly behavior. Red Bull in the four pack yeah. saved her. I chase him, he keeps coming back. While surprising, he's been dealing with the same guy for three years, he says. And he wonders why the guy is not in jail. Were you just fed up with y him? Yeah, fed up and... Uh, and kind of strange how like, it takes a, a news station to, to bring this guy to, you know, go to jail and stuff, man. It's And plus, safety of my customer is also... He says he calls the police on this guy and many others who steal from his store. Most of the time they don't show up, and if they show up, it's like a, not in minutes, in hours. This stretch of Lake City Way has seen its problems over the years. People with visible mental illness walking the streets. That's Samir's shop in the Circle Dot on SBD's 24-hour crime map. If you compare this stretch of Lake City Way with a high crime area of... Dang, always gotta go into... Gotta do... Go into business at low crime area for sure, right guys? Aurora Avenue to the west, it's almost the same. How frustrated are you? A lot, and and my safety is also an issue right now, because if he comes back with something else, what I'm trying to do, just work and make a living. 
It's a, you know, being homeless, it doesn't help the mental state, bro. Definitely, like, excuse it. It did for me, for sure, guys. That's what I need. A spokesperson for Seattle Police says they are still looking for the suspect and that officers responded within 15 minutes of getting the 911 call. They would not verify previous calls to this store unless we had all the kids. Um, now there is an update to this, so we'll watch that. Let's read a few comments here. If he does take it into his own hands and short, sort these weirdos out, watch the police DA lawyer certainly spring to action and try to prosecute this shop owner. I wouldn't see, I wouldn't see that happening. I don't know why they would. I mean, the guy had a weapon with him, so... Hope anyone who acts like this knows their life can be taken at them for the wrong place at the wrong time. So sad and frustrating that this is allowed to happen more, more these days. Thanks. Alright guys. Let's uh, watch the second video. They helped capture the suspect, so... Hey, good detective work. Alright, well last week... If they're going on a national syndication, it seems to help, right? Here, right, guys? We told you about a man being accused of terrorizing a Seattle gas station for three years. And oh, snap. They, they're all up. Like, they, they stopped. Like, man, guys, I have been arrested in public before. It's so embarrassing, bro. But they got him in the middle of the street here, bro. I've never been arrested in the middle of the street like this. Now, we've got a new development. That man has been arrested with the help of a Fox 13 viewer. Matt Markovich says the arrest is a reflection on how Seattle police are dealing with lower priority crimes. But whenever I, I chase him, he keeps coming back. Samir Shafi says Maculus Terry. Look at him run away, man. It's like, you know, you know the way you run away or like uh, if you ever jaywalk before. But don't do not do that. Don't do that, guys. Because I've been hidden by a car while jaywalking. So do not do that. For the last three years has been terrorizing the Shell Mini Mart he operates on Lake City Way. Last week he threw rocks, breaking windows, aiming. This guy's just being a menace, bro. Yet Samir working the cash register. The guy's just trying to operate his business. You know what I mean? Window breaks and the rock nearly hits a customer in the head. Were you just fed up with him? Yeah, fed up and uh, and plus safety of my customer is also he says he would call police but police admitted to me the rock throwing is a lower priority call interesting how he came with milk though better than a rock though he's like dude this guy got milk i'm gonna go out there with the bear spray you know what i mean but like what are you doing bro and there are delays he's better <laughs> he was swinging it around like what was <laughs> I, I guess he didn't want to hurt anyone that's good <laughs> Milk is in responding. He asked for some help to catch him, and he got it. Seattle Post oh, arrest Perry, and it did not. It took three of them, but they, they finally got him, guys. Go smoothly. They, they, they found him at like a homeless encampment or something. Hey, bro, he he's off attempts to handcuff them, swearing at officers, possibly breaking one officer's finger. It would not have happened. High five. How are you? Had it not been for Pat Ferris, who saw our story and contacted Samir. I just saw you on TV, and uh, I want you to take my card, and the next time this guy comes around, call me, and I'll come right away. Hey, wait, he'll come right away? Like, what the heck? What do you mean? Like, he's going to call the police, or is he a, a police officer? I don't understand. When Samir saw the suspect again, he called 911 and Pat, and Pat followed him for an hour. He was walking around and terrorizing people at the bus stop and uh, just random people walking down the street. At one point, he saw officers nearby. And I yeah, he definitely looked like he was done with the homeless life and he probably wanted to just go to jail or something, right guys? Ran across the street and said he's right around the corner. And they said, we're on another higher... This makes me worried if I was like followed when I was homeless, bro priority call right now and so i walked away just shaking my head thinking they weren't gonna do it i didn't do anything like this guys i didn't really harass anybody all i did was fly the sign anything stop stop, stop. stop. Your cup. perry is a repeat offender court records show eight convictions including theft and resisting arrest prosecutors asked for a seventy-five thousand dollar bail a judge said it at ten thousand what do you think will happen 
It's not like he's gonna get bailed out, right, guys? I think he'll be out. I'll meet him again tonight. He'll come back to me for sure. <laughs> and I'll be waiting. Yeah, man, it sucks being homeless, bro. I'm sure he had, like, you know, this homeless, homelessness is not you know, a good thing for the mental health, for sure. This is an example of Seattle PD's private. Even after being arrested, the prosecutors, yeah, it's quite a low bail amount. So, an inability to do their job is getting ridiculous. Part has been the great, Pat has been a great friend of mine. He was tracked down at least two local burglars already. You're a hero for keeping crime down in Seattle. Alright guys, that's our video. Check them out in the description. I do all my reactions live on Twitch. So, any donations are appreciated. And I'll see you guys next one.